This one's pretty good because I feel like sometimes we just need to remember that, that as we're building a business, the higher the level, the bigger the devil. And like, as my business grew, so did the number of customer complaints. Obviously, as you have more customers, you're gonna get more refunds or returns. As my team grew, if I just had an issue with one person, as it got bigger, there was more people. And so, and, and I didn't realize that. Like when it started to grow, I remember reaching out to my mentor and being like, you don't understand, like there's a lot of like customers that are not happy and there's, there's so many more people saying no and there's so many more of this. She's like, cause you're doing a higher volume. When you have higher volume, you're gonna get higher rejection, you're gonna get higher issues, you're gonna get higher, you know, customer service issues, you're gonna get higher upset people. Like, and not that that was happening everywhere, but when you get like five in a day, it felt like the world is imploding. But when you look at how many people you're dealing with, it's totally fine. And I share that with you because you will get to a point if you're not already there where it feels like that, where it's like, ah, everything's falling apart. No, it's not. Just today is a day where things, there's a lot happening and that's okay. Don't focus on the things that are not going right, fix them and then focus on the things that are great. I never would just like be upset about a thing. Like, yeah, sure, sometimes it hurt my heart, but I wouldn't like take that to the dinner table and then talk about it. Like business as an entrepreneur, it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down. So anything bad that happens in your journey, just know it's a lesson. It's gonna make you stronger. It's gonna make you more resilient and more fearless. And so welcome the things that are hard. Just welcome them, figure out a little way to get around that little roadblock and then now you've got a teachable moment, a lesson you can teach your, your team, but you also have something that's just, I don't know, makes you like a warrior with your shield or something, okay? So, I just wanna remind you though this, on your journey, that you come first, okay? You come first in everything that you do, and so you've gotta to remember to take care of yourself first, whatever that is, if it's a 30 minute workout, if it's eating right, whatever, meditating, whatever fills your cup, do that every day, so that you have more of you to give to others, okay? You are worth it. You are a powerhouse. You are an inspiration. You are called to a new level. And even if you feel like a mess some days, <laughs> even if things are not perfect, focus every day on progress, not perfection. Tony Robbins says the key to true happiness is progress. So if you just focus every day on a little bit of progress or having massive progress, whatever that is, so that when you put your head on your pillow at night, you say, you know what? I am i couldn't have done any more today for my business. I couldn't have done any more today for like taking care of me and my family, like I gave it my all. And so when you can put your head on the pillow at night and say that, then you've done exactly what you need to be doing. If you felt a dream in your heart that feels bigger than you, honor that calling. I don't believe that God puts a dream in our heart unless he's given you the ability to achieve it. Any effort that you put out there, I believe it will be blessed. Not always right away, right? Sometimes I do a lot of work over here and then like three days later, I'd get hit with blessings over here. And I was like, oh, that was because I did the, right? So sometimes we're like, where are my blessings? I'm like, well, you, <laughs> God will bless your efforts when you've given him something to bless. Are you putting in the effort? You gotta put in the effort. You actually are awesome. You actually are powerful. You are actually called to greatness. And you have this, you can read this and put it on your wall. You actually are an inspiration. And you have a gift to offer this world packaged up in its perfectly imperfect way. And how you show up and the lives that you impact matters. And just know that there's people out there that want to hear from you. They want their life to change and you can be that beacon of hope for so many people. So many people need hope right now. And what you offer and what you do can offer so many people hope. This is your permission slip to own your awesome, put yourself first because your awesomeness will inspire thousands of lives around the world. So let that awesomeness shine by ignoring all the noise and doing what totally fills your cup first. It will require changes and systems and programs and strategies. And I've got a training for you. If you go to bigbreakthroughacademy.com, bigbreakthroughacademy.com, you can see us. It's a 45 minute training on how I went from stuck for six years to unstuck and having a team of 50 just six months later. I share exactly how I did it, the six things that I did differently, and I give you tips on all of them. BigBreakthroughAcademy.com. So it, it, it's gonna require changes, systems, programs, strategy, and how to be needed less. You, you need to be needed less so that you can focus more in your business and win more in your business. Focus on being proactive all the time and less reactive, which 
drains your soul and takes so much of your time away from what really matters. So that is my training for you. But I just wanna remind you that you are amazing, my friend. And when you decide to show up louder, prouder, bolder, and in charge, your life will dramatically change and the lives that you will affect will be dramatically changed. It's a domino effect on people all in your ecosystem. You will change lives because you decided to go for it. So I love you, my friend. I'll see you soon.